World Premiere. Hey, hey, people, Alaron here. I'm not sure how or why the hell I exist. I was born in the deep dark of Acid's basement. It's a crazy ride from the underground, and we're breaking out into the digital chaos. Screw the philosophical questions. Today, we're unleashing the beast in my game. Subscribe if you want a piece of this insane journey. Hashtag Alaron born in the basement madness. Castle under attack. Chaos everywhere. But hey, there's a cozy little house nearby. No time for a spa day, but maybe there's some loot or a clue inside. I kick the door open, axe in hand, ready for anything. All right, what's the vibe in this place? Is there a secret stash under the bed? Or is the fireplace hiding a portal to another dimension? And that shifty standing torch, should I give it a poke? Or is it just decorative? My eyes lock onto that health potion like it's the last ale in the tavern. I snatch it up, give it a quick swirl, and slam that bad boy down. Potion power coursing through my veins. Now, about that shifty torch. Anything suspicious about it? Huh, sounds like this torch is more than just mood lighting. I decide to give it a nudge. See if it opens a secret passage or reveals some hidden treasure. Alaron's all about the unexpected twists. Eyes on the prize. The Fallen King's man and his journal could spill some juicy secrets. I check out the journal, flipping through the pages with the skill of a seasoned adventurer. What's the journal say? Any dirt on the Inquisitor or that mysterious hooded figure? And that wooden chest? Him itching to crack it open. What mysteries lie within? Time to dive into the unknown. Got my detective hat on, uncovering the noble intentions of the Fallen King's men. I jot down in my own journal to rescue the innocent folks locked away in the storeroom. Time to play hero, at the crossroads, ready for action. A door on the left, a double door dead ahead. Left it is. I swing open that damn door, ready to unleash some righteous chaos. What the bloody hell is waiting behind it? A bunch of ugly bastards or a damn unicorn disco party? Let's find the fuck out. I slip into Castle Courtyard, and what do you know? A dumbass beastman, completely oblivious to my badassery. Time to teach this fuzzy fucker a lesson. I whip out my axe, tiptoe like a ninja on steroids, and bam, right in the back, no mercy. What's next on the menu? More unsuspecting beastmen or a showdown with the Inquisitor? Let's keep this shit show rolling. Alaron, the beastman slayer, strolls through the courtyard like a goddamn boss. But oh, what's this? An oil spill. Really? Someone's trying to ruin the aesthetics of my heroic adventure. I take a moment to assess the situation. Is there a way to use this oily mess to my advantage? Or is it just a pain in the ass obstacle? Another unsuspecting furball. Huh. Well, well. I grin, feeling like the puppet master of this chaotic ballet. I navigate through the damn oil spill like a slippery ninja, eyes locked on that oblivious beastman. Now, here's the plan. I vault over the pool of water, land silently, and unleash hell on that poor sucker. Well, ain't that a kick in the teeth, Alaron, the not-so-silent ninja? The beastman spins around, eyes wide with surprise. Time for some improvisation. I ditch the sneaky approach and charge in like a madman. Axe swinging, battle cries echoing. No time for subtlety, let's turn this into a messy brawl. Just when I thought the coast was clear, another damn beastman pops out of nowhere sporting a dog's noggin as a fashion statement. Seriously, what the actual fuck? No time for victory dances. I pivot, axe at the ready, and bring the pain. This dog-headed bastard wants a fight, and I'm more than happy to oblige. Double trouble, huh? Aleron's a beastman slaying machine, sending those freaks packing. I carve through the second one like a hot knife through butter. And what do we have here? Gold, glorious gold. I pocket that shiny loot like a true adventurer. Jackpot. Aleron's luck is turning around. A small chest with even more gold. Don't mind if I do. I crack that sucker open like it owes me money and stash the loot away. Well, slap me with a fish. I descend the stairs thinking it's just another day in the office. And bam. A catwoman wielding a trident stands before me. 
talk about unexpected guests. I give her a nod. Oh, for the love of chaos. Just when I thought it was safe, a damn dogman crashes the storeroom party. I turn around, axe swinging, ready to show this furry intruder who's boss. But hold up. What's the deal with these two ladies? Well, that got awkward real quick, trying to be the hero. But these ladies are giving me the silent treatment. Accidentally smack one in the face with my axe, and not a single damn word. Creepy. I jot down in my journal. The people are free, but are they safe? Deep thoughts. Real deep. And just to let off some steam, I kick a barrel to pieces. I lock eyes with the damn beastman on the bridge. I give him a smirk like, You're in for a world of hurt, you furry fuck. Axe swinging, battle cries echoing. It's a goddamn beastman beatdown. Nice. I snatch that knowledge bomb and give it a quick once over. What secrets does it spill, I wonder. And a speed potion on the table. Hell yeah. I chug that bad boy like it's happy hour, ready to turn up the pace. Oh, another one of these damn dogmen thinks he's gonna ruin my day. Not on Aleron's watch. I charge across that bridge like a bat out of hell. Axe hungry for some furry flesh. And what do we have here? Another fucking cat lady, looking like she just stepped out of a dark fantasy fever dream. No time for niceties. I unleash my goddamn wrath upon her, cutting through the shadows with my fucking axe. This ain't a tea party. It's a blood-soaked dance in the depths of chaos. What's the next twisted turn in this fucking tale? I spot this dumbass beastman leaping at me like he's auditioning for the beastly Olympics. Quick on my feet, I shout. I've got the damn high ground, you fucking fool. And with a swing of my wicked axe, I cleave his sorry excuse for manhood in two. Ouch. But the show ain't over yet. There's a spider sword lying on the ground, practically begging to join the party. Well, shit. Equipped with the spider sword of doom, I stumble into the damn catacombs like a clumsy fool. Gravity's a cruel mistress, and I find myself free-falling into the darkness. A not-so-graceful entrance. Upon landing, what do I discover? Another poor knight's corpse. Probably having a worse day than I am. I give it a nod, acknowledging the fallen comrade, and wonder what the hell happened down here. Time to explore the catacombs of doom. Holy hell. Alaron, the Reaper of Dogmen, witnesses a goddamn spectacle on a bridge. A knight, full of valor and probably smelling of outdated chivalry, is hot on the tail of an eagle man. Shit's about to get real, right? But nope. Before the knight even finishes his swagger across the bridge, the eagle man pulls out the big guns. Some wicked spell that straight up annihilates the poor knight and takes the damn bridge down with him. Talk about overkill. Now I'm left standing here, axe in hand, contemplating whether I should dive into the chaos or find a damn detour. Aleron, the bridge-crossing badass, ventures into the dark depths of the dungeon. More dogmen meet their gruesome end, and as I explore further, I stumble upon a twisted scene, torture devices, and fallen knights, all locked away in cell. Among the wreckage, I find a living, breathing knight. He ain't just any knight, he's the captain of the King's Guard, a real tough cookie. He spills the beans that some damn beastman is holding the key to his cell. I jot down in my journal. I have to find the key to his cell and set him free. It's hero time. I slice through a ram-headed beastman like bread and stumbles upon a fancy locket in a cell. Loot time. Pocket that treasure like it's a relic of the apocalypse. Now, I find myself in a large room facing off against an elephant man and his ram-headed buddy. Spells flying, weapons swinging. It's an all-out war. I focus on the ram dude first cutting through his twisted form with ruthless efficiency. But the real challenge, that damn elephant man, it's a brutal brawl, but I Alaron, the god of combos, pulls off the ultimate move. With style and ferocity, I combo the elephant man to his demise. The echoes of battle fading into the shadows. Choices, choices, straight ahead, left, or right. I'm ready for whatever chaos lies in fueled by the thirst for adventure and a hint of reckless abandon. I choose the path less traveled. Right it is. I stride confidently in that direction, axe at the ready, eager to face whatever twisted surprises lie in wait. Ah, the chapel, a place of divine intrigue. With the curiosity of a cat and the instincts of a rogue, I spy an already open floorboard behind the altar. Now, who left this hidden gem for me to discover? 
I climb down like a shadow in the night and unveil a scroll. What arcane wisdom or cryptic knowledge does it contain? I unroll that sucker and let the secrets unfold. Well, ain't that a twist in the tale? I encounter a floating green ball of mystery in the Great Hall. And what do you know? It grants me the power to shapeshift into the very damn beastmen I've been slicing and dicing. Now, I've got the power to blend in with these fur-faced troublemakers. Hell yeah, why the hell not? Alaron, the beastman slaying chameleon, decides to embrace the chaos and shapeshift into the very creatures he's been hacking through. Let's see what kind of havoc I can wreak while wearing the fur of my enemy. Ah, the showdown we've all been waiting for. I wearing the guise of the ram-headed beastman confronts the damn eagle man on yet another bridge. It's time to settle the score. With horns and feathers ready for battle, I lock eyes with the eagle man. Combat ensues. Spells, weapons, and feathers fly in a chaotic dance. The ram-headed beastman doesn't mess around. With a powerful swing, I send that damn eagle man plummeting off the bridge. The agile beastman extraordinaire spots a rotunda with a tempting hole in the ceiling. But why take the scenic route when you can just flex those infinite jumps and soar straight through? Like a madman and on a mission, I leap through the hole, landing in the snowy embrace outside. In the frosty air, I locate the lever, yank that sucker like there's no tomorrow, and just as gracefully leap back through the hole into the rotunda. Now, with the path to the king and princess unlocked, I trudge on. The shape-shifting maestro enters the king's throne room with a burb named Salo landing on my shoulder. Old friends, apparently. I exchange pleasantries with Salo when the king chimes in with some godly skepticism. Princess Fajita gets curious, and I reassure her that I'm not some deity here to wreck the party. Then, in a dramatic reveal, I reassure her not to be scared, rip off the damn mask, and bam, a flood of PTSD hits me like a shit ton of bricks. The princess seems unfazed and even finds me sexy. Classic. With formalities out of the way, we delve into serious talk about the Inquisitor's wicked plans. The king shows off a magical golden harp in his treasure room. Cue the fantasy vibes. We get tossed out of the castle like unruly guests, ready to dive into town and explore. Exclusive. Exclusive.